Welcome back to Gruesome Garage. Today we finally get to dive in to the Jeep. As you can see, we started doing some stripping, but uh, there's a lot more to do. Jeff and I here plan on pulling every single wire out and pretty much rewiring it. So uh, should be interesting. Gonna be a lot of work, but let's start tearing it apart. We're ready for it. As you can see, we're making a little progress, boys and girls. Got some of the wiring ripped out. Soon to be almost all. We decide to just leave pigtails and start from scratch. Why chase a rat's nest when you can start and make your own rat's nest? At least it's gonna be a little cleaner rat's nest, and then we can figure out the problems so much easier than now. It is a 96, so for some reason, Jeep decided for one year and one year only to do all the wiring colors. Older than 96 is different, newer than 96 is different. Even though 96 and up, it shares the same basic computer. All the connectors are different, and like I said, the colors are different. So we're gonna make this a little easier, and we're gonna wire it ourselves, and then we're gonna take parts and pieces off of another 4.0 that we have over here. This is a 2000, 2001 Cherokee 4.0. It's got a ton of wires and pigtails off of it to make it a little easier to figure out as we patch it into the Mega Squirt system. All right, so we got most of the wiring out. Strip the interior a bit, you know. Took out the stuff you really don't need. And uh, pull all the wires back. Cut all the garbage out. And uh, now it's time to tear apart the wiring on the engine bay. It's a little trickier, a lot of stuff going through the firewall that we're gonna have to deal with, but uh, nothing a good old snips can't fix. Am I right, Jeff? Absolutely, we're ready. We're readier than ever. I cannot wait. Absolute destruction. All right, we've got the whole wiring harness out. Really, honestly, wasn't that bad. Once you strip everything out of the way, and you're not afraid to cut some stuff, pretty much comes right out. So now I got Jeff over here, getting ready, pulling the fuel system apart, and then we are gonna hack this nose off. We need a little more room, and I plan on dove nosing it a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give her a slice right here. It's already cut out pretty good from the coilovers, but we'll cut all this, you know, nice clean slice. Not structural this anymore, this is pretty much detached yeah it's not really structural we got our hoops here holding and holding the nose together stiffeners. frame stiffeners frame schmiffeners i still tweaked the living jesus out of this thing so as you can see she's been through the ringer she's real tweaked roof's all effed up but it's a, cherokee, it's a, it's a you know girls. it's a cherokee we like to beat on them what can what, what are you gonna do so once Whether we get this straight or not, once we get this fuel system popped off, we're gonna hack these fenders out, get this nose stripped, and uh, should give us a lot more room to do some wiring. So let's let's get to hacking. Adios, muchachos. I'll cut this more after we take the bat out. Let's go to the other side. I'll pass back forward on this. What have we done? All right, boys and girls. Jeff and I are uh, amateur surgeons, I guess. We're doing a little rhinoplasty here. And, uh, let me tell you, it comes off like butter. Especially but, when there was barely anything left. You know, we, we hacked a lot for the intercooler, a lot for the coilovers, a lot for the shock hoops. So there was really nothing left. They were not structural anymore. We have these awesome frame stiffeners down here. The only frame stiffeners you should buy for a Cherokee because they're the only front ones that actually wrap around the whole thing. Yeah, instead it's not of just, just being flat. plates. If you look at IRO, Rough stuff, I know they're our favorite, but they don't don't, don't 
Don't worry, guys. Rough stuff. We've got the rest rough stuff. We've got rough stuff mids. So, have no fear. Have we were no gonna do rough stuff in the back, but uh, probably gonna end up hacking the back off and tubing it all. So, why waste the time? Yeah. So let's get back to what we really did most of the video, other than just hacking the fenders. We cut almost everything out. The only the distributor's going. We're replacing that with a cam position sensor from a newer Cherokee. Why well, have a distributor with Mega Squirt LS coil packs, baby? Much more smarter thing to do. We can have individual individual control on each of them, and then also we can replace them so much easier instead of replacing that whole full bar of a fuel of a uh, coil pack on the newer style Cherokees we can diagnose and check them all at once or replace them once instead of the whole thing now if you look we have pigtails on all the injectors I forget what size injector this is but we're going up to an 80 pound injector and we're going to a bigger fuel pump everything new but, fuel rail yeah this fuel rail is going there we found a company that makes a custom fuel rail Hopefully it works out pretty well. We haven't seen it in person, but it looks pretty decent. Um, but yeah, we took the rad out just for now. It's gonna stay here. We might upgrade to a better rad, but basically we have this thing stripped and ready to go. And I just wanna start pigtailing in, you know, all the, all the mega squirt, all these wires, you know, they're all labeled and- Labeled every foot. Every foot. Makes so, it pretty easy. Exactly. So we're just going to hack into stuff. I know some stuff needs resistors, but we'll figure that out as we go. And you get to enjoy the woes with us. So she stripped. Wiring harnesses are out. Made ourselves a little more room. And uh, in the next video, you'll see us start patching everything together. I will make a complete list of all the parts I buy. I will try to keep that in the video. I'll try to inform you guys as much as possible. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments or on our Instagram, whatever. And uh, subscribe. If you want to see this thing, I know a ton of people are interested. Subscribe. We try, we're going to try to post maybe once a week, every two weeks, the latest on this. We're shooting, but, we're shooting for every Sunday, yeah, every, every Saturday or Sunday, having a video ready for you guys. And, and just, you know, making progress. We need to make progress on this thing or else it's going to sit in here forever. Mm -hmm.